Hey, it's Katie, and welcome back to my booktube channel. It is day seven of Bookmas, and I will be doing the Christmas movie book tag, which I saw from Peace Love Books, so I will make sure to link her video in the description below. Basically, there's a list of, I think, like six Christmas movies, and they each have a prompt that goes with them, so I will try to pick a book or a character that fits those prompts. Number one, we have Elf. Which author did you meet that you can't believe you actually met? And for this one, since I haven't actually met any authors, I'm going to go with who I would love to meet. And I have a couple. I have Stephanie Garber, obviously, because Carval is my favorite, as I'm sure you know. So I'd love to talk to her about how she got that idea and if she plans on writing anything in the future that is in that world, because I really want that. And then another one would be Cassandra Clare because I feel like she's such a well-known YA author and it'd be really cool to say I met her. And also, I really want to, like, jump into her world a little deeper. So I feel like it'd be cool to get, like, not an inside scoop, but, like, again, hear how she came up with the idea and everything. Because there's so many books that take place in that world. So, I don't know. I want to come up with a cool concept like that that everybody loves. And then the third author is Jenna Evans Welch because I love that all her books take place in different countries and I'd love to ask her if she's traveled to these places or again how she came up with that concept because she also incorporates some other unique things like in the one book it's I think like a journal left behind by the character's mother and another one it's like a guidebook for that country so I don't know I just think it's a really unique like travel book concept I don't know if that made any sense, but it's really unique and I would just love to kind of get into her head. Number two is Jingle All The Way. Which book or author's books would you do anything to get? And for this one, I definitely have to go with the third book in the Children of Blood and Bone series because when I read the first two books, I thought it was only a duology. So when the second book ended on this huge cliffhanger. I was so confused and then I realized that there's a third book she's working on and I just, I need it now because I, I don't know. I'm hoping that's the last in the series because I need a conclusion. I've been through so many emotions with these books and I'm ready to like have the finale and just feel complete because I love it but it's a lot. <laughs> Number three, we have Holiday in Handcuffs. What character would you kidnap and spend the holidays with? I feel like I would probably choose Catherine from Heartless, the Alice in Wonderland retelling, because I just recently read it and she bakes so many amazing treats and I feel like it'd be really fun to, it sounds horrible to say it's fun to kidnap somebody, but if I did, she would probably bake a lot of really delicious things for me, so that's probably the route I would go. Number four is The Holiday. Which character would you love to switch lives with? I would probably pick Julie from Even If the Sky Falls because it takes place in New Orleans, which is a city I've always wanted to travel to. And she also goes during Mardi Gras, which is amazing. And she meets a super cute boy. And there is a hurricane in the book, but I feel like that would make a good story, you know? So yeah, I'd probably pick her. <laughs> Number five is White Christmas. What book was super hyped but didn't live up to your expectations? And the first one that popped in my head was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, which I actually talked about in my most disappointing reads of 2020 video, if you want to see a little bit more of why that was disappointing to me. But I don't know. I feel like it was a really hyped series. All the booktubers I watched had it on their shelf, and so I had really high expectations. But it just wasn't as great as I thought, and it kind of focused more on romance than the assassin part I was expecting so I don't know it just wasn't as good as I initially thought it would be. Our last one is Love Actually. What is your favorite romance or fictional couple? And I think recently my favorite one has been Zaylee and Rowan from Children of Blood and Bone because I don't know I feel like he's this super like badass mercenary but he still has a soft spot for her and like this different side of him comes out when they have like alone time together and it's super cute so even though it doesn't seem like the main romance in that series it's definitely the one that i'm rooting for 
That is the end of the Christmas movie book tag, and again, I will make sure to link the original video in the description. My next bookmas video, I will be talking about books I wish I read this year, so stay tuned for that. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and also make sure you click the notification bell so you know when I upload next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next video.